Well, 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 if it isn't Patrick Star. She's back with a wig. Where has she been? We are prepping the skin because children, she is back. Mwah. Hi guys, I am here to show you guys this look. We are not starting with the end, but the beginning, beginning in real time because I just wanted to sit down and get ready with you and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Yes, this is a wig slash get ready with me. And we are just going to beat our face to the ground. I am inspired today to do a colorful look, all right? Y'all are probably tired of the, this Mac, Mac, Mac. But I just want to show you guys some colors, some fun. And we are here inspired by, of course, none other than Mitchell and the P. Louise Academy. So I'm pulling this look and also maybe this look. I was, I, I couldn't decide. But this girl is everywhere. She's a living Barbie. I love her so much. Love Mitchell. I hope to meet him one day. And I found him um, on Instagram and through Nikki. And I love him so, so much. If you are not following him, follow him. Definitely check out his page. And let's try to attempt an amazing blend. Can I talk to y'all about this hair? I was feeling something summer-like. And, you know, I normally wear black wigs. But I thought I was going to give and serve, like, real one. <laughs> Men. I lightened my hair for summer because I wanted something different type of vibe. Comment down below if you're one of those girls because I certainly am. And then, you know, for fall, you go back dark or you cut your hair into a different style. I'm going to prime my face with the Too Face Hangover Primer. This one is really, really good. I love it. It's hydrating and also it controls all the oil on my face. And guys, I have been obsessed with my skin. She's been taking care of her skin. Also, I do apologize for no nails because she's lazy and she's been wearing nails for years, but she's coming back. And also, I will be at BeautyCon if you guys are going to be there. It's not sponsored. I'm just going to be there with MAC, of course. If you guys haven't checked out my collection, here's going to be a plug. Buy my collection in stores now and online. Diva Fever for summer. First off, I'm going to prep the skin with this apricot corrector. This is by Clinique. It's the Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. And I love this around this area area and instantly you can see that it brightens up my skin. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer. And I love this because it just corrects like the gray in the skin and it's super lightweight and I love it. It's like the perfect color for me. I'm gonna put some on my mustache area right here and just conceal and then of course just take some and just dab it underneath the eye. Just lightly, we don't want to layer because we're going to layer so much makeup anyways today. Just going to bring some around the eye to color correct. Bibbidi bobbidi boo bitches, yes. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, it is no secret that I got filler. Y'all are asking where because I'm so chubby and you can't see it. I just look like a tub of filler. But I did get filler under my eyes and I am old. She's an old queen, you guys. But... I just love it because it makes me feel so awake and it's not so hollow because, guys, my eyes were like hollow and it was not a cute look. They were not designer bags. So if you guys want to see like a full in-depth vlog, let me know. I know this is a beauty channel and not a surgery channel and there's so much search on, on the internet. But if you guys want to see um, that type of process, let me know and I'll... I'll vlog it for you guys. I love my doctor. He's amazing. He's actually my neighbor. And um, no, we don't do it at his place, but we go to his office in Beverly Hills and he's just really, really nice. And if you guys want to see that process, comment down below. Also, speaking of filler, I don't know whether I should just fill my lips because people always knock me for having overline lips and i know it's such a topic but i love the fantasy of drag and i love the fantasy of transformation i'm not gonna not do filler or just stop overlining my lips i just like the look and i love the art of transformation and that's what my channel is all about it's just the power of makeup and transformation but if you guys think if you guys hate the lips comment down below if you like the lips comment down below if you guys want to suggest filler comment down below i think there's just so many people with lip filler that just look like ducks quacking in a lake it's just i, I don't think it's my look and i think that my lips look fine i just don't want to look abnormal personally with the lips up to my nostrils because i already look crazy without makeup i personally think my lips fit my face without filler. So for foundation, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I am in the color Medium 62 Warm. I love it so much. Y'all are probably wondering where the hell it is, but this foundation for summer is the best. And I actually 
rebought it. So one of the best things on earth. And I'm gonna take it on this brush that I love. This guys, you can go through a freaking tornado, girl. And your face will still be on. You can death drop, girl. I love it just as much as I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Just an easy foundation. And I love the pump. And it's just so thick and so kinky that just covers everything. and makes me look so plastic. Guys, my brows are a mess right now. I'm going to do them off camera and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Now that the brows are done, I am willing and able to try the... Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, per recommended by my friend Zach. And I'm going to take, oh, let's see. I think I'm going to go with Natural Beige, because I love me a pinky under eye. This is the pinky one. So Natural Beige is more pinky, and then Golden Beige, obviously, is more yellow golden. Um, So my friend Zach said that he loves this concealer, and it, the applicator is very similar to the Shape Tape but he said it's more creamy but i love the shape tape so much let's just try and see what the hype is about and i'm picky with my concealer i like it to be full coverage and i like it to stay and just lock i wonder if Too Faced said let's make shape tape but better that's the real tea honey okay all right guys we are going to take a different powder than patrick's powder because i know it is sold out Everywhere I am trying, I have been begging, so I'm still waiting on a reply. But in the meantime, I'm going to take another favorite powder of mine, the Derma Blend, and I'm going to mix in a little bit of Air Spot. Oh, this is brand new. Let's let's grab the old one. So we're going to take the Beauty Blender and just set this right away. I'm actually low key kind of obsessed with this concealer. It might replace my Shape Tape if it does well. Because sometimes if I'm really tired, my eyes get so, so dry underneath. And I have to use, like, extra Tatcha eye cream. And Tatcha is not cheap, y'all. Tatcha, the eye cream is, like, $80. And I'm not trying to spend no $80 to get some. But I feel like if you have a really good full coverage concealer that's friendly to your eye area, then you'll be you'll be set, girl. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to take a little bit of air spun, girl. Because we're trying to go for that full coverage look. Good God, that's a lot of powder. But there's nothing a little bit Benefit cannot fix. <laughs> Do y'all remember my commercial with Benefit? Give me more. Give me brow. Mm. Give me more. And give me brow. That was so crazy. So today I'm a little bit nervous because I am doing my shadow like them kids. Um, I would say like Mitchell, P. Louise Academy. I wish I had the P. Louise um, eye base, but I don't. But I see a lot of kids. When I say kids, I mean like this is like a new age type of technique that I necessarily haven't done personally. That's why I'm calling it new. I'm sure it's been around. I just personally have not tried it. And it is applying your shadow directly to a wet base. I tried it yesterday for 4th of July. And... It was cute. It was just a little bit of a new technique for me. And I've seen, like, Nikki do it. I see the concept. I think it just takes a lot of concentration. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to keep my eye base wet. And then we're going to go for the darkest shadow in the look and apply it to the eye. All right, guys. So I'm going to take the 39A palette. If you guys shop at Morphe, use the discount code PSTAR with three R's to snatch some coins off your receipt. This palette is well loved and well used. I'm going to take this matte navy shade right here and apply it to my wet base with a Smith 247 brush. Wish me luck. Sorry guys, I am deep in concentration. Like I get the technique, I see the purpose because look how pigmented the eyeshadows are going. And instead of baking, you're getting full color payoff on a sticky base, which I love, and I love the idea. I barely, rarely like do colored looks, but I really want to branch out and try because I'm just so inspired by like different techniques and I'm willing to try. And I'm one of those people that's like a creature of habit. And I feel like I've been doing so much stuff like with Mac and, you know, doing the campaign images that I've been kind of feeling out of the loop with like social media because I've just been producing so much for Mac that I've been missing out. And guys, I can't believe like we're three collections deep and it's just like amazing that I never would have thought to have 
a collection at Mac from this very platform, from all of you and all of your support. And I just look so freaking crazy. Like, with all this powder on my face. But little did I know, or probably Mac knew, that they would be sold out of a powder from a person like me that just slaps it on. Let me look at this picture, because I don't forget how it looks. I'm so not used to this eye look. I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Palette. It's busted like crazy. And I'm going to take this hot fuchsia pink right there. And I'm going to blend it and just add basically all of these purples right here because they're so beautiful and blend it into the blue. And I'm taking a Morphe M433. Oh my God, guys, I hate it already. But you know what? I know if my face looks messed up before, like I'm sure like my eyeshadow is going to look messed up before it looks better. It always looks worse before it looks better. And I'm just going to go with that philosophy that I've built in my head. And then just trust the process. That's what. That's all it takes. I'm just not used to this base being so freaking... Um, ah, maybe I should pat it. What am I doing? Wish me luck on this other freaking eye, guys. Now I'm going to go back with the blue and just blend for filth. All right, guys. I look so freaking crazy. I am going to cut the crease now. And I'm going to take the Super Brow 24-Hour Longwear Pomade in Whiteout by Kat Von D. I used this yesterday for 4th of July. And I got so many compliments on it and on my eye makeup. Because I really blended for like a few hours and I was super late to the party. But hey, we served looks yesterday. Oh, and this brush I love. This is the Morphe M167. It's flat and it's thin. And I feel like it can cut my crease real cute. All right, guys, I feel like I got it to the best of my ability, and I feel like this crease is serving just like a rabbit, but I think it fits my eye shape as far as what I'm concerned. <laughs> um, it gets better. Trust the process. So for the blend, it's still creamy and wet. I would not worry about the base tinting because it's so sticky. The shadows will stick to it. I'm going to take this yellow. This one is the Morphe 12P palette. It's such a rainbow. It's an essential. I think it's a must if you want to get these looks. And I'm going to apply this on the center of my lid. And I'm really going to scrape a lot of the shadow and pack my brush. And you know what's crazy about these looks? Like, I really reshape my whole face from my nose to my lids to my lips, even down to my eye shape. So hopefully this does it justice. Like, the girls that they're painting are, like, real women. And I'm over here, like, doing rhinoplasty and shit like Dr. Miami. <laughs> so the transition color looks like an aqua blue, but I'm going to go ahead and take this green right here next to the yellow because, to me, green and yellow make blue. Or is it the other way around? Shit. Is it? What is it? Blue and yellow make green? You know what? We learned that in kindergarten. That was so long ago. Anyways, I'm going to take green and then hopefully just blend into the blue. I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue on the bottom here and blend between the green and the yellow. Wish me luck. So I just bought this brush from the Morphe store. This is the M321. It looks like a thick pencil. And I'm gonna dip into the 35A, the Dare to Create palette in the navy blue again. And I'm going to buff out them corners. And I'm also going to blend the inner corners too. I feel like this part's really tying the look together. All right, guys, this liner was the hardest thing of life and blending. This is admirable to those that do and execute these eye looks. Don't look too close, but I think lashes make everything so much better. I'm going to take my favorite lashes by New Balance in the style Dragon Lee and pop these on that eye with some tweezers, hunty. Okay, okay, okay. She's looking cute. Guys, do you guys see this booboo right here? It's the worst thing. That can happen to you when you're this deep in makeup. So I thought I would propose an alternative solution. Pile on more makeup. 
because I don't want to like wipe it off. If we get black everywhere, I have to start over. And that's just not me. I wanted to propose a solution. So I'm taking the MAC acrylic paint. I love this for liner when I used to work at MAC. I just remember using it for cool liner. So I'm taking this on an artist brush, literally from Michaels. And I cut it up. So I'm going to just do a thick liner. Okay, you see, and I'm just gonna clean up over that black. I, I did let it dry so it's not bleeding anymore. Boom. Guys, voila. The eyeliner is fixed now. I just gotta push the lashes so you can kind of get better dimension on here. But first, I'm just gonna let the acrylic dry. And I'm going to blow dry my eyes a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, my wig is still on. The liner is saved, and my lashes look a little bit sleepy, more like Marilyn Monroe. At the very last minute, I will push them up to Jesus so they give me that flutter effect. In the meantime, I'm going to dust off this Airspun powder because we cute or whatever. And it feels really good to be back on YouTube. I feel like I've been MIA a little bit just because of just behind the scenes and working. I do want to come forward and mention that I am doing 99% of the marketing stuff for MAC with my collection, and it's been a dream come true. I think what's so different about this collaboration is that we're working like way ahead, almost like a brand, because my partnership is a year long with MAC, and I am already three collections deep. I feel like I can talk about it now because the first um, collection that I had, I was already working on the second, third collection at the same time. So I was just all over the place. And then we went to the Philippines and then we went to Mexico and then we went to Toronto. And then I did um, another appearance and then I, f I filmed with Chris and then I had to do more videos and then I was backed up and then I had to film with so-and-so. And then I felt like I was getting lost in like, the and falling behind with the videos because there was always something coming up which pushed like real-time videos back if not the holiday collection i was working on spring if not spring i was working on summer if not summer i'm working on something else aka another collection coming soon and it's honestly been a dream come true it's just been such a learning curve to process working ahead of time because i think when you're on social media everything happens instantly hence instagram Hence, you know, real time shit. And also too, like I wanted to like do the music video so, so bad because I thought it was something cool. And by the way, that was like such an amazing project that I thought would never have happened to do music. But it's not like I'm like Jennifer Hudson or singing like trills like Beyonce and all them girls. But I just wanted to put out a fun song. And by the way, the song is available in all Mac stores everywhere. All over the world i think it's so sick and it's fun it's a fun song you can get ready to it's got the glam and the response has just been so amazing and i've just been trying to take care of myself and i saw tyra banks post this morning about um you know even though you're working hard take time for yourself and this doesn't just go for people on social media if you're at home and you're watching and you feel like you're going through some shit Listen to me and just take time for yourself. I don't know, get a massage or just get a blowout or just hang with your friends. Just go window shopping, go to the beach, just get some sun. And I feel like it makes all the difference in your life when you take time for yourself and treat yourself and just reflect on what you've done so far in your life. And that's what I've been doing. And I had an amazing July 4th at Nicole Concilio's house. And I've just been resting. A lot of my friends just tell me to rest because I feel like I'm just going too too fast but i will say i just love work i just love working i really just want to be able to look back on my partnership with mac this global international partnership and just have given it my all i feel like it's one big olympic marathon of collections i say this all the time I, um, it's it's a funny running joke when i talk to mac the MAC team, I feel like I'm like Octo Mom this year. I'm like pushing out babies after babies after babies. I'm chasing after my one-year-old and then my two-year-old and hoping that each and every one does great. And I hope you guys see that in all the work that I do. I'm just so grateful to have all of you on my channel have following my journey because I, this is not just about me when it comes to the MAC collections. It's about knocking down those doors and saying, hey, 
you know, if you're watching, if you're a young boy or a young girl and you want to go after your dreams, like, just, just do it. Guys, trust the process. I am loving it now with my nose contour because I feel like my face looks so flat. I'm taking the purple from the Sephora Pro palette right here on a fluffy brush and just bringing my nose contour up into the brow. This is just makes it so much more me. And take that navy blue from the Dare to Create palette and also bring this up and fuse it into the front part of the brow. Obviously, contouring is preferential between, you know, the face, but... I think this works for my particular face shape. Next, I'm gonna take 7C by Makeup Forever and overline the hell out of my lips because the eyes are so dramatic. I mean, like I said in the beginning, I don't have filler in my lips, never have. I'll never say never will, but as for now, I'm happy with the way my lips are. Filled by Jesus. And to seal the deal, I'm gonna take my favorite lip gloss thus far of all my matte collabs. This one, besides Mama Star, sorry, um, I'm gonna take Fashion Punch by MAC and apply this and blend it in with the lip liner. This is just sex dreams for all. It's the perfect peach. It's the perfect like sex peach lip. And then there's also cream pie. If you want a cream pie mouth, get the kit. Diva Viva and that color is there. It's more pinky. Fix plus this bitch. Try to avoid the eyeliner so it don't run again. Run away from mama. I'm gonna change, I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this look! I love the color, I love the 301s. I haven't worn lashes, 301s tops and bottoms in so, so long. And thank you to Mitchell for inspiring this look. I love the colors, and it's just so magical to be back here in LA, in my apartment, filming for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey of YouTube and life. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.